Hello, I am Tony Reisdorf, and this is room 116, and your student will have me for either STEM 7 or Robotics 8, primarily. Um, if you follow me in my room, I'll show you a couple of things. As I said, I teach primarily STEM 7 and Robotics 8. Mr. Gieselman and I also teach some Robotics Enrichments and some STEM Enrichments, but we're going to primarily talk about our STEM 7, STEM 8, Robotics 7, Robotics 8 classes. In STEM 7, we do a couple of big projects. If you look at the board, okay. we use a 3D drafting program called SketchUp in both STEM 7 and STEM 8 to model our projects before we build them. But I just wanted to show you that's our 3D drafting program that we use called SketchUp. Once they're done drawing their basketball game in SketchUp, we use the machines that we'll show you in a bit in the back to build and create their projects. So you'll be seeing this go home in STEM 7, along with we do a basic transportation and electricity activity where we build hovercrafts and make a simple electronic circuit. And we build hovercrafts that we then race to see who builds the best hovercraft. In Robotics 8, we do a lot of open-ended problem solving, expanding upon what they did in 7th grade robotics. They'll build Lots of unique creations, like a couple examples I have here. They'll use lots of different sensors. So for example, they'll be using coding to use large and medium motors along with ultrasonic, touch sensors, light sensors, and a few other things to make them solve different challenges that they're given. They also build a take-home project in robotics and we call it a Scribblebot in STEM and Robotics. In Robotics 8, we do a Scribblebot 2.0, expanding upon what they built, but they'll look something similar to these that you'll take home. Hi, I'm Joe Gieselman. I teach Robotics 7 and STEM 8. We are in room 115 right here, so if you'll come back with me. All right, so here uh, for STEM 8, our big project is our clock right here. We have our little phone dock here, and then we have our main clock face here. Uh, it's all manufactured in the back shop, as you might see later on in the video. Um, we, with our clocks, we make these on SketchUp before we actually physically get to making these. So that way the kids can have a real world experience with designing and on a drafting uh, software, and then they can transfer that knowledge over to making their actual product. And then towards the end of STEM 8, after the clock is all done, we have this right here, which is Marble Mania. And the main goal is to have a marble going down this structure, a uh, structure that the students make. And they send the marble through the structure and you have to have the marble moving for as long as possible until it hits the ground. And ultimately the group that has the longest moving marble wins. And the kids love it. It's a big competition for them at the end of the session. For Robotics 7, this is our base bot. Uh, Robotics 7 is a lot of the more basic coding, uh, just a nice introduction for a nice seven week introduction uh, for the students to learn how to code, uh, learning different sensors and different motors with the robot, exactly just how to use the robot. And then we also have a take home project, we call them scribble bots, and we have a nice little uh, circuit that they um, can solder together and it ends up doing that, and that's their take-home project for the session. As I mentioned, we have two large STEM classrooms. We also have a production lab, which we'll show you in the back. This is room 116, where we will have most of the STEM 7s and Robotics 8. And we're going. All right, so this is room 115, Mr. Gieselman's room, and this is also where we do all of our software and uh, the coding for Robotics 7 as well. We have two production labs. This is the production lab behind room 115. Students may use both sides depending on spacing and availability. As we go through, you'll see there's pretty similar setup behind room 116. Students must pass the safety test with 100% in order to use any of the machines. And we'll be using some sanders, a router, some band saws, drill presses, and potentially some jigsaws. 
You will be seeing this form come home with your student early in the rotation. This is our syllabus slash classroom philosophy or SOAR expectations. It also discusses our lab fee that's associated with the take home projects, such as the Scribblebot, the basketball game, the clock, hovercrafts, etc. So once again, just wanted to remind you that this will be coming home. So you'll see this from your student early in the rotation. We also have a robotics club that runs from the end of August, usually to the end of February. Each year we do first Lego league, which revolves around real world problems and it has a variety of things the students and teams have to solve. With the tables, it changes every year. This is last year's theme that you can see set up currently. And the students work in teams of 10, trying to solve all kinds of different activities.